This video is brought to you by SoccerPro.com, offering everyday low prices on all the latest soccer gear with no membership fees. Don't forget to use coupon code SR4U at checkout for 10% off any order of $75 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com with an unboxing plus on fee video of the brand new Messi edition of the Adidas F50 Adi Zero My Coach 2 in synthetic. So as you can see, it comes in the same style box as the previous Messi Edition Addy Zero, but uh, the graphics are a little bit different. At the top of the box, you will find the slogan, Play the Messi Way, if only it were that easy. You do have the Messi logo right there as well, and you kind of have this gradient design with all the colors featured on the boot itself. So open up the box here, and we'll take a look at what is on the inside. Of course, they do include an extra set of insoles. This is the Comfort insole. It has a white suede slash microfiber material on top. You got the messy emblem there at the heel. And it's pretty much just your standard Comfort insole for the F50 Adi Zero. Nothing too special there, um, but it definitely does get the job done. And they also do include the lightweight insole in the shoes already. These ones are purple, have a mesh liner, perforations all throughout. Again, you got your messy logo there on the heel. Again, nothing too fancy, but it is nice that they do include two sets of insoles. So I'll get the shoes out of the box really quickly. You will notice that the inside of the box is black and you do have the uh, little kind of divider in the box, which is kind of cool. It's a really, really nice box. Goes well with the overall presentation of the shoes themselves. But that's not really all that important. What is important is the shoes that I have right here. If you guys could take a quick second to leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, and basically here is a look at the shoes themselves. They've been on pre-order for a long time now. Um, and they are actually available in stock ready to ship. So there are buy it now links down below in the description. Along with exclusive SR4U coupon codes if you are interested in ordering a pair of these for yourself at a discounted price. So go ahead and check that out. Again, the links are down below in the description. Now the first thing that obviously is going to jump out at you with this particular shoe is the colorway and the graphics. And I have to say that when I first saw it, I wasn't the biggest fan of the graphics on the shoe. And I still can't say that it's my personal favorite looking shoe, but it definitely is unique. It definitely is different. Do I like it better than the original messy color? I don't think I do, but I still think it looks pretty good and it's definitely something different and something unique from Adidas, which is always what we I want to see at least um, when it comes to new colorways and new designs. Um, so leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this particular colorway. I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty cool. As far as the colors on here themselves go, it uh, looks a little bit different in person than I was originally anticipating. I'm not sure how it's going to look on camera, but in person, in well-lit areas, this red looking color is more of like a salmon, almost pink like color in really, really well lit areas. So the sprint frame on here, again, it's probably gonna show up as red on the camera, but in person it can be viewed as pink. So just keep that in mind. It's a much lighter color in person than it may appear to be on camera. That also goes for the streak through the middle, the laces, and of course the heel liner. Now the inspiration for this particular design was um, streaks of light according to Adidas. So there's not really any kind of specific pattern that I can make out here, um, but it definitely does look good. You kind of have a gradient design going where you have this darker kind of bluish slash purple color. They call it turbo. No, they don't call it turbo. It's more of like a purple. And then this color here, the salmon color I was talking about is called turbo. And then of course you do have your white and black accents throughout. You got your three Adidas stripes here on the outside with your black Adidas stripes here on the instep. Definitely looks pretty good. A little bit of white here at the heel. Of course, you do have your Messi logo right here on the instep, along with the Messi emblem here on the outside of the heel. Again, very, very cool. I like that they put the specific branding on this particular shoe. It stands out a little bit more than the previous Messi edition, which was kind of more difficult to tell if it was actually the Messi edition shoe. Um, of course, if you knew it was, then uh, pretty easy to tell, but this one actually does have his name written on the shoe um, and his logo in multiple places. Of course, you do have the F50 Adi Zero branding there from Adidas on the tongue in white. And as far as the technical aspects of the shoe itself, it isn't too far off from the previous Messi edition. One of the most noticeable differences between the messy version versus the regular synthetic F50 Adi Zero is that there is no transition in the synthetic upper at all. It is still the same sprint skin synthetic upper, but there isn't any kind of division here going around the midfoot or the heel back half of the shoe. Um, instead, it's just one piece of synthetic all the way through, and there's a seam at the back of the heel as you guys can see right there. 
Again, this really doesn't change the overall performance or comfort of the shoe. It's just something that they've done with the messy colorways, probably mainly due to the graphics themselves. Um, this version of the shoe also does feature a kind of uh, artificial leather grain on there, if you guys can see that. It's a little bit more difficult to tell on this particular colorway because it is a little bit darker, um, but it definitely is there. And it gives the shoe a more kind of smooth touch to a smooth feel to the touch, I should say, as opposed to the kind of more heavily texture oriented touch that you're going to get from the standard synthetic versions of the Adi Zero. And of course you do have these kind of shiny lines on there. As you guys can see, instead of on the previous messy uh, colorway, they're kind of more of on the diagonal. This time they're going straight. Again, I'm not sure if that's going to affect the overall performance, overall feel of the shoe. If it does, I will let you know, but for the most part, to me it's more of an aesthetics thing more than anything. Of course, you do have your external sprint web going all the way around there, which is not only going to help with durability, but it's also gonna make for a more lockdown feel. You can see the sprint web branding right there. It's going to ensure that the super thin, 1.5 millimeter thin, to be specific, sprint skin upper, isn't gonna move around too much on you when you are kind of making quick cuts and lateral movements. Um, so definitely something that is nice to have on here. And again, on the messy version, it extends all the way to the back of the heel, whereas on the standard synthetic versions, it would cut off right about at this point right here, where the synthetic transitions as well. So just keep that in mind. You do have your off-center lacing system with the laces being pushed ever so slightly to the outside of the boot. Same low cut here in the heel. Of course, this does feature the sprint frame with the kind of harder angles on there, a little bit stiffer than the previous version of the sprint frame. And of course, same stud pattern that you've come to know and love with the F50 Addy Zero. And of course, it is my coach compatible, which is why that little bump is right there. The heel liner is more of a textured leather material. Um, again, the same thing we saw on the previous version of the F50 Addy Zero. Um, and again, I know a lot of people are going to ask, is this version going to be available with a leather upper variation? And the answer to that question is most likely not. Um, again, Messi is always wearing the leather version of the shoe. Um, he does get them obviously custom made from Adidas. Um, what he gets and what, wear, what he wears is completely different to what's released to the general public. So it is very, very unlikely that um, a leather version will be available to the general public. So they will only be available in the synthetic upper variation. So just keep that in mind. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing portion of this video goes. And then move on to quick weigh-in so you can get a better idea as to how lightweight these shoes are. Perhaps the most attractive feature of the F50 Addy Zero model from Adidas is its lightweight construction. So I'm going to weigh this pair for you today in real time. This shoe has the lightweight insole and this shoe has the comfort insole on the inside. You can see the purple with the lightweight insole. We're going to throw it on the scale. Keep in mind that both shoes here are a brand new condition in size 9 US. So I'm going to throw this one on the scale, again, with the lightweight insole. And you can see that they weigh in at 5.9 ounces. So under that 6 ounce mark, it is very, very lightweight, both in hand and on feet, to the point where you're probably going to forget that you're even wearing shoes. So I'll take that off the scale. We'll throw on the one with the comfort insole. Again, you can see that the insole on this one is clearly white. I'll throw that on the scale. And they weigh in at 6.3 ounces. So there's a 0.4 ounce difference between the two shoes. Is this something you're going to be able to notice on feet? The answer to that question is absolutely not. Don't really get too preoccupied with what insole that you're wearing. Just whatever you're most comfortable with is the insole that you should pick. It doesn't matter what your friend says. It doesn't matter what you think. Um, the difference in weight is so minimal that it's not going to affect your performance at all. Just make sure that you're comfortable when wearing your shoes. So that's pretty much it as far as the weigh-in portion of this video goes. And I move on to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes fit and what the sizing is like. All right, here's a look at the messy Addy Zeros on feet. And from right out of the box, these shoes actually feel pretty good. Like any thin synthetic shoe, some break-in time is required just to allow the synthetic material to soften up and just become more flexible overall. The thin single layer sprint skin synthetic definitely has a more rigid feel from right out of the box. You can see that there is a fair amount of kind of bunching up on the upper itself. But for the most part, this is much improved over any of the previous versions of the synthetic Addy Zero. I'm not talking about this specific shoe, but I'm talking about this specific model of the Addy Zero. I know a lot of people tend to stray away from the synthetic version and go for the leather model, but I have to say that the synthetic model this year is much improved over any of the past versions of the synthetic Addy Zero. As far as the overall fit of the shoe itself goes, it feels really, really good. It doesn't have that same super narrow cut that you're gonna find from most thin synthetic soccer shoes. It does have a tighter fit and it is suitable for most foot types. But again, if you do have a wider foot type, 
I'd probably stay away from the um, synthetic Addy Zero altogether. As far as sizing goes, I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here, and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size for the best possible fit. So that's pretty much it as far as the on-feet portion of this video goes, and I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right, guys, that's it for my unboxing plus on-feet video of the latest Messi F50 Addy Zero. Expect to see a play test on this shoe in the next week or two. I'm going to be working on it over the next couple of days and hopefully have that out for you as soon as possible. In the meantime, if you guys would like more information on the overall performance, be sure to check out my full written review link down below in the description. It'll give you all the information that you need as far as how this shoe fits, feels, and performs. Also on that review page, you will find buy it now links with the best prices online, including exclusive SR4U coupon codes to get yourself some additional discounts if you are interested in ordering a pair of these for yourself. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you did enjoy today's video, be sure to support it with a like. Um, all of my social media information can be found down below in the description. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.